Hi Gemini's, how are you? So this is going to be your March reading. How are you? Are you excited? I hope you are. Um, before I get into the tarot portion of the reading, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about um, the astrological aspects that will be happening. So on March 10th, we have Mercury going direct. And what does that mean? Well, Mercury still kind of lingers in its uh, retrograde phase for about a week or so after it turns direct. So, I mean, really, in a way, it's like, yeah, we can breathe a little bit easier and it's good. things are going to get a little lighter and you don't have to be as really paying attention, uh, you know, like the miscommunication and confusion around, um, you know, relationships and just in general, uh, communication in general will won't be as confusing but given the fact that it will still be it's in shadow period till almost the end of the month i would say that uh you know it's still good to pay attention it's still good to clarify if there's something that you well i don't know if that's what they meant don't assume ask really don't assume just ask because it's better to be to know for sure from the source than to really assume and then just be in your head about it all the time you know and just having you know all of these thoughts come up when they they you know there's no need for it so really um clarify double check triple check check your spelling check your bookings get to your destination a little earlier you know so in case there's unexpected things that happen that you know that you're ready and prepared for now the other thing that happens is saturn moves signs saturn goes into the sign of aquarius on march 21st so gemini's depending where in the natal chart the sign of aquarius is for you that area is really going to be highlighted for the next two and a half years. Those are the lessons that are really going to be front and center for you. And I think that might be also an area for you that you might have a little bit of a hard time with because Saturn is a planet that's very slow. Well, it's not as slow moving as, let's say, Pluto or Neptune, but it's still um, slower than, let's say, Venus or Mars. So it uh, really takes its time and it just, but it does that because he wants to make sure that, you know, whatever you learn during that transit is going to stay with you. So Saturn doesn't take things lightly. It likes responsibility, it likes structure, it likes uh, building things, that strong things that would that are there for, to last. So, um, you know, wherever the Saturn moves, whatever sign Saturn moves into, you know, it's, um, those are kind of like the lessons that you'll need to learn. So what I was saying for the previous sign is that having the sign, um, having Saturn move in the sign of Aquarius, it might bring more of like, uh, us versus we, um, well, I'm sorry. And it's like me versus us, uh, me versus the community, you know, things like that, where it's like, it's going to, you, it's going to make you more aware of really things around you and not just like your little own bubble so it's either you getting involved more in the community or things from the community from your um state from your country you know like some things on a global scale uh becoming more aware and really more front and center for everybody and it's how do you play a role in that so it's really i think it's a lot of really strong and big big lessons to learn in the next couple years um but uh, regardless of the fact i feel it's going to be a move in the right direction too so that's it for the astrological report of the month um but uh let's see um what is the tarot has to say okay so for the first part of the month we have three of pentacles there's some need to work together with certain people some people Oh, wow, you have two threes. Okay, very interesting. So I think it's like you really need to reach out more. I think during this month, a Gemini, during the month of March, reach out more. Reach out to your friends because I feel like it's either you or your friends are going through something really heavy and then they need your support. They really need your support to like 
or you need their support to get you out of a really rough patch or really of like a negative state of mind um, that I feel like you've been holding on to for too tightly for a really long time, you know. So really like having three of pentacles and three of cups here, it's really connecting, connecting with other people. Try if you can really try to make time for some fun things really make fun make, make time to spend um and reach out and just like really be with your friends and be with your community and just kind of work more in a group than independently because that would really i feel like for some of you gemini's you're really so like oh i'm alone there's nobody loves me there's nobody here for me there's nobody nobody cares about me you know where it's like if you shift that just by being making yourself more available and really kind of reaching out and really making the effort to be around people and to spend more time with people you really realize that there's way more to life than and you just like really there's so much more love around you and there's so much more support for you now this can go vice versa so it could be you reaching out to people and there's some of your friends will need your support this month so really like pay attention to when your friends are um you know kind of retrieving from you or like they're being a little distant and um you know check in with them and see where they are and like what's going on in their life because i'm sure they would without them even knowing they will definitely appreciate you reaching out to them now in the second part of the month we have king of wands upright with the four pentacles in reverse and the ten of swords i think really things will get easier and i feel like this has to do with this eight of um swords in reverse like you feel been feeling that sense of like being stuck and being like in one thing and you know like you can't get out of it it's like it's almost like you blocking yourself and you blocking your own um opportunities but it's just like it's all that mindset and the way you can get out of it is just by letting go and really reaching out it's like opening yourself up and then letting go of some barriers letting go of some defenses that you put up for yourself that you know you're not allowing other people in you know and that was the whole thing about this it's like you or your friends too could be doing that during this month where it's like you're putting up those barriers that like nobody can get through and unless you like release those barriers that's when things have started shifting for you and things will start happening for you and this was king of wands too i feel like for some of you it's like you might even have a fire sign coming into your life um that would just like we really really want there to be there for you and really love you or there might be just a spark of passion that you might have you might even have a one night stand with somebody totally possible um but i feel like whatever this king of wands brings with it is just kind of release from the past and release of like holding on to things that are no, no longer working for you it's like a release of some sort of a baggage and some sort of repression and some sort of really this like things that you really put up for yourself that you know it really weren't working out and you just really making you feel more stuck than feeling like you progressed so i feel like yeah i think for some of you like the more you open up the more you spend time with your friends i feel there is going to be an opportunity for you to meet somebody in the during this month that would really show you something a new perspective a new way of doing things will make you that make, make you let go of certain like um really tight energy that you have and you kind of make you put you feel at ease even though the ten of swords here it's like um i don't know it's almost like carrying the dead right but i feel it's like putting to rest laying to rest these feelings these the, these blockages so it's like really letting them go but let me just clarify page of pentacles and reversed so yeah it's i feel like laying to rest certain opportunities that are no longer so it's almost like being okay with whatever the outcome is so like yeah maybe like i said like you might be a one night stand with somebody but like that would just make you like figure like or have an epiphany of like well there is not a bad thing of having a one night stand you know even if it's not working out like even if it's not a concrete offer or something that can lead lead into a more serious thing but it's like it's showing a part of yourself that you're holding so back so much and for so long that it's time for you to open up open up that space and really let go of some some of those defenses that you put up and some of those i think it's like it's almost you 
set um, certain, it's not even, it's not about standards here. It's more about expectations that you set for yourself or maybe others set for you. Because having like um, two cards here that have to deal with other people, it could be like maybe uh, there are certain expectations that other people have of you. And if you hold that as your standard, but then really not listening to what is dear to you and what are you like what it what makes you um excited what makes you happy what makes you want to do things what make brings joy and spark into your life which i think this king of wands will do for you so it's really i feel like it's gonna be a really believe i feel like i want to pull one more for the at the end of the month what's this yeah, it's really, again, putting to rest those things and like really letting go and finally just like saying goodbye to that those feelings of like being unwanted, like not having expectations of like, you know, oh, if I do this, then it has to be X, Y, and Z after, you know what I mean? So it's really, it's just being okay with what is in the moment. So it's really just be more present. I think for you, March, Gemini is going to be really a month of to be more in the present. Just enjoy what is now. You know, you don't have to like make plans for like 10 years ahead or even like six months ahead. Just be present. Really enjoy life as it is. And then threes, usually it's a card of like a number of creation and harmony too. So it's like... Um, if, it's like it's really for you whole like letting go of that and really creating the life that you want as you want it in the moment and then just kind of like listening to that what that moment is and sometimes just going with it you know just be present and just enjoy that moment fully you know so i feel like there's gonna be some really good times ahead in march which we're quite due for um you know because I remember the, the last month it was uh, about generals, you know, who's doing what. So again, that expectation that somebody is putting on you, you know, to act a certain way, to do things in a certain way. Again, same expectation is showing up this month as well. But in this case, it's up to you to either let it go or just kind of give in to that feeling of the present. And then just maybe even like, again, have a one night stand. If it's not a one night stand, it's just like, having this like new surge of energy that it's like oh my god i've been holding back so much now it's time to really let go of that and just like be present and just be me you know okay so let's see what the oracle says what's that extra message for you um let's see Secrets, very interesting. Whisper, confidence, and sharing. I think it's it's like that the the thing with spending more time with friends, you know, and just like just opening up, letting your guard down, letting your barriers, like those you know defenses, your walls that you put up, so that people can really can get to. Like I said earlier, like you put those walls out that people can't get to you to really get to know you. But once you do, you know, certain things will come to light. And it's just having like kind of those like heart to heart conversations. And then we'll open up into a new territory like this, this um, uh, a, King of Wands. It's he's, he's adventurous. He like has so much spark and so much fire in him that he's just like, you know, sometimes takes risks and just goes for what he wants when he wants it. So really, Gemini, go for what you want this month. Be present and really enjoy the moment in the present. So I'll leave you with that. If this reading resonated with you, please like and share. Uh, if you want to hear what uh, next month has in store for you, subscribe to my channel and you'll get a notification when the next video is up. Um, and if you have any comments, please leave them in the comment box below. And I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. But that's it for now, and I will see you in April. Bye.